The Trans-Pacific Partnership Agreement has many critics, but economist Manu Baskaran says that the trade agreement will benefit the ASEAN region. TPP is going to be <coughs> extremely positive for Singapore, Malaysia and Vietnam and Brunei uh, within ASEAN. If it does take off, I think over time, Thailand will probably join as well. If TPP uh, delivers what is promised, and I think it will, uh, what do trade agreements deliver? They, they deliver flows, right? Flows of goods, of services, of capital, of people, of ideas. Who manages these flows? It's the regional centre at the heart of it, right? Uh, what are the regional centres in this region? Basically, it's Singapore. And uh, Bangkok is, of course, growing. Uh, but Bangkok is much focused on the Mekong region. I think it'll do very, very well in that area. But for the larger ASEAN region, I think, and maybe even India, Singapore is the premier regional financial, aviation, transportation, logistics, management, business headquarters, uh, hub. TPP uh, will, uh, you know, advertises itself as a gold standard <coughs> free trade agreement that goes beyond just tariff cuts. It addresses a whole range of issues uh, that really promote significant increase in the flows of, you know, goods, services, capital, people and all that. And that means synergies. <coughs> that means, you know, a company in Malaysia has access free access to 40% of world GDP without impediments. That is fantastic. Suddenly you go from a small scale to a global scale with all the attendant benefits. I think it is fabulous. And you know, if Malaysia, for instance, gets this and competitors like Thailand don't, that's a tremendous boon for Malaysia. And I think the TPP is a very important part of the structural story. I mean, the ASEAN integration overall is, is also part of that story. Sorry. So it's not just TPP, we have ASEAN integration. And Singapore and Malaysia have a lot to gain from that because uh, Singapore and Malaysia are among the most open economies in the world. If you have more trade, more financial flows, we benefit. We are tremendous beneficiaries. So we have a lot in common there in terms of our interests. Of course, there are some downsides because um, some of our partners in TPP have um, very... Um, you know, stern demands, uh, intellectual property and, and so on. And I hope in, in the end that the TPP that comes out uh, adequately addresses those issues so those, those risks to us in ASEAN can be managed and we can then get the benefits. Well, we, you know, the trouble with the TPP is that the actual provisions are still confidential, so we don't know. So we have leaks coming out saying that the Americans are being quite demanding in terms of issues like intellectual property <coughs> rights, uh, government procurement, <clears throat> the role of government-linked companies and so on. We don't know exactly what the compromises are. Um, I would assume that our negotiators will you know, protect the interests of the, the uh, local businesses as much as they can. At the end of the day, <clears throat> all these agreements uh, involve huge trade-offs. There will be some losers and there will be some winners. Um, it's clear in Japan, for instance, that they are <clears throat> the government is actually now prepared to take the political risks of an agricultural lobby that will be very angry. You know, in Japan, they prepare to do it. In, in the US as well, I think <coughs> uh, President Obama has courageously decided that he will face down opponents within his own party, right? Um, so it's the same in our part of the world. We will have to deal with some of the uh, sectors that might lose out and devise ways so that we can mitigate those losses because the upside for the entire economy is just really tremendous. It would be a tragedy, I think, if we miss this opportunity. Despite the criticisms levelled on the TPP that consumers and small businesses will lose out, access to a larger market and more choices will outweigh the downsides of the trade agreement. Zunara Said, Singapore Star TV.